Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another Cooking with Yvette XO video, and we have a special guest, my husband. Yeah, the drum roll. <laughs> Ulises, <laughs> yes, follow him, Sharper Dapper. Sharper you know. Dapper is going to be because you already know. You know what it is. If, if you, you haven't watched it, Sharper Dapper, Ulises Benitez. Yes, follow him. I will have all of his information linked down below. Sorry. Self promotion. There we go. Um, if you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And if you guys are not new here, then welcome back. So, for today's video, we are going to be making some chicken Alfredo from scratch, homemade, no jars. <laughs> which is literally like from scratch. But you guys are going to be surprised how easy it is and it tastes so much better. Yes. So, like I had told you guys, I usually buy. Offer it already made from the little can. pasta, little dump, and then that's it. Yeah, so him, he actually likes to do it from scratch. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to bring you on my channel, and I'm going to have you show the girls and all of us how to cook some chicken alfredo. Yep. I actually did it for her one time, yeah. and um, it was kind of like a surprise thing. Mm -hmm. But I it figured, like, hey, let's bring it onto the channel. It'll be cool for you guys to see. But I wanted to show you guys how to do it, like, together with your significant other. I think it's easier with two people. So we'll yes. pretty much describe like what one or another can do. Yes. So to start off the video, um, Ulises is going to be basically doing the sauce and making the pasta, and then I'm going to be taking care of the chicken. Which yeah. Well, she's actually part. she's actually going to be um, putting the pasta inside the actual. Um, what do you call it again? Yeah. <laughs> it's not the pan. No, it's not. It's the, the pot. The yeah, the pot. The pot. Pretty much, okay? oh my, is that and then the question? pan. So we're, first of all, let's just show you guys what we what you're gonna need. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you're gonna need one of these. <laughs> what is this called? I don't even know. We're cooking and making a cooking video. <laughs> what it's, called. it's a pasta rinser. Yes. Yeah, so you guys thing. know what it is. Okay. Then you're gonna need a pot full of water. Yes. That's where your pasta is gonna go. Uh -huh. then you're gonna need a pan. That's where your sauce is gonna be made. Uh -huh. And then we have all the lovely ingredients here. Okay. We're gonna show you guys what you guys need. We're still gonna put a description at the very bottom, but I just wanna kind of go over everything. So, like I said, you're gonna need this here. You're gonna need a pot for your pasta with water. You're gonna need a saucepan. I just got the simple fettuccine. I think one box is fine if you're making it for like two to four people. You're gonna need heavy whipping cream. Butter, it could be like this or it could be the actual cubes. And then you're gonna need some measuring cups. Salt, black pepper minced garlic i just use this one i think it's a little easier but if you want to actually like chop fresh garlic and make it into like a paste that works as well parmesan cheese and then white pepper if you can find it this one's kind of hard to find but you can use that you're gonna need something to stir your sauce with a knife to cut your chicken with and then i just put one chicken breast i think this is enough if you thin slice it but it's literally just salt and pepper and then we're gonna throw it in the actual oven to get it baked so to bake it, you're just going to need an actual pan and then just cover it with aluminum foil. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I actually sliced them in half just because I feel like they're going to cook a lot faster if we just eliminate half of them. Wait, that made no sense. <laughs> well, yeah, you're just cutting it in half so it's thinner. So okay, yeah, so now it's going to bake easier and everything. So I did put oil, olive oil, you guys can do vegetable oil, whatever type of oil, just to kind of... Um, help it cook thoroughly and we are going to put and it and that way it won't stick too. Yes oh. And then we're gonna put it in the oven um, at 400 degrees. degrees, so we preheat the oven already. It's already ready to go So I'm just gonna throw this right in while Elisa shows you guys how to do the sauce and the pasta yes. So okay, so for the actual um, Pasta you guys can kind of time it. The chicken's gonna take like 25 minutes. So preheat your oven at 400, and then once it's ready, throw in the chicken. That's about 25 minutes. So I say like 10 minutes in, you guys could actually start like your pasta. So just with the actual pasta, I suggest just do like medium heat, let it come to a boil, and then throw in the pasta. And then for this, we're gonna start it off at medium heat. But when the pasta sauce is cooking, you guys are gonna have to do it at low heat. And don't get discouraged by the way that it looks right away because it, it gets thicker th well towards the end because when you're doing something at low heat, it takes a while for everything to like really dissolve and like for it to get that thickness that you want. But we'll go ahead and get started on this. That way you guys could actually see the process. You guys, so I just preheated the pot and the pan. I'm gonna keep this one at low heat at all times. Remember, low heat, very important. This is about mid to high. I'm actually gonna just salt it a bit and I'm gonna start throwing in the fettuccine. 
and even if it doesn't fit all the way it'll it'll begin to start kind of getting well dissolving i guess you can say it'll start getting cut so it'll all fall in eventually you can lower it a bit if you have to and then this here we're going to start with the sauce so you want to start with heavy whipping cream one cup so i'm just going to throw one cup in there let that sit in there and then i'm going to put a little bit of minced garlic throw in some black pepper and I'm just gonna continue to stir this literally just stir it stir it and stir it until it starts dissolving how do you stir it? Up. <laughs> actually you know what it's actually two cups sorry I messed that up it's not one cup it's two cups I'm just gonna add the second cup Maybe a little bit more if you want it a little creamier. If you want it to not be as dry. And I'm just going to mix this. And a few minutes in, really not long at all, maybe like a minute in, you guys could start adding your butter. So you're going to add half a cup of butter. That's all you need. So as I'm stirring this, I'm just going to let you guys know a few things with when making the sauce. So the only things that really have to be on point are the amount of whipping cream and butter that you put. Everything else is to taste, which means that it's really up to you on how you want it to taste. It's, there's not a specific amount that you have to put in. So when it comes to the cheese, the pepper, the garlic, the salt, all those things, it you have to kind of guess it. But as you continue to stir and dissolve your uh, the, the condiments you're just gonna be able to taste and figure out like how you want it to taste so that's just a uh, some F FYI for you guys so this is pretty much where I want it now I'm gonna add half of a cup of butter all right you guys so this is a half cup of butter I'm just gonna add it Now the key to this sauce is for you to really stir everything through. Break it down and just continue to stir it. At low heat. Okay. All right, so after I dissolve my butter, I'm gonna start adding salt. Don't mind me guys, I'm washing the dishes. <laughs> I'm gonna add the white pepper. And I'm gonna add a lot of Parmesan cheese. I feel like the cheese is what makes it really taste good. But just guess it, there's not an exact amount like I told you guys. As you continue to stir everything through, you're gonna be able to taste it little by little. And if you feel like you have to add more stuff, whether it's pepper, cheese, garlic, salt, whatever, uh, or minced garlic, I should say. Uh, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna turn on the pasta now, guys. So how was your day, babe? <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> See, this is like a little bonding time. <laughs> a little something. Oh. Do you want me to show you how to stir? Shut up. <laughs> You get a little romantic, you get a little... You can have fun with it, have fun with it. That's the whole point. Bonding. I feel like at least once a week, you guys should try to do something. Yeah. Because you don't realize that being together doesn't mean you're spending time together. There's a difference. Oh. <laughs> you're lame. Serious. Facts. Facts only. All right, so... Like I mentioned, the stirring thing is going to get a little annoying at one point, but you have to continue to do it. And it's going to look very watery at first. So, like I said in the beginning, don't get discouraged by it. Just start tasting it. 
little by little and as it starts to dissolve go ahead and add whatever else you want so for me i think i want to add more, more cheese, cheese. It already smells good. Yummy, 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 yummy. I usually like to just come to the kitchen and eat. That's what I like to do. Get your man I can cook, guys. I don't do Only he cooked kitchen. every day. That'd be lovely. I don't, I don't. <laughs> you know the funny part? The first time I made this for her, she didn't even eat it until like... I know, he was being all romantic there. and I got home late. I was literally at the was table with, with the little candles and everything. And I was what with my Sancho. <laughs> You know what happened? <laughs> well, my Holiday man's at day. home cooking. Damn, your boss. <laughs> I'm gonna check out my chicken, guys. Mm, it's already tasting good. The chicken's already looking good, too. Nice and crisp. Can I taste it? Hold on. You need to do a taste test, actually, yourself. Figure out what it needs. Here. Just stir, 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 and then taste. Yeah, that already tastes good. Yeah? Yeah. It's going to be a little watery, but you could tell right away like what it tastes like. Yeah. No, you but can already taste it. You can even smell it already. Yeah. So do you never stop stirring it? Yeah, I, I suggest just keep it at low heat and continue to stir. Once that's ready, drain it and then throw it in. It's pretty much done at that point. Okay. Continue to kind of mix it in, chop your chicken, and then you're ready to go. The pasta is almost ready, so... That's literally all you need for the sauce. Like, it was, it's that simple. Yeah, the pasta needs maybe like another five minutes and it should be ready to go. So once we get the pasta ready, we will come right back. So we drained the pasta, now we're going to go ahead and dump it into the Alfredo. And then this is still on low heat, so we're just going to dump everything in. And then just start mixing it. Help me out right there, like move everything over. Just kind of make it all go in between the actual pasta so it could get the flavor. Dude, it's so saucy. So this is the chicken fresh out the oven. You guys can see your chicken should look nice and white. If it ain't white, it ain't right. Chicken. And Lisa's will do his job in decorating. Yeah, so pretty much at this point, you could dump the chicken in there and mix it up. But if you have somebody that doesn't like chicken or whatever, just I suggest keep it like that and then put in as many pieces as you want. Yeah. So I'm pretty much going to dump some inside a, well, onto a plate and then we're going to decorate it, make it look nice. Make it look like you tried, you know? And you don't have to use these little... <laughs> okay, it's easy to... <laughs> these little ones, but... It's actually easy to grab yeah. with the little tongs. These little tongs work. Look at this. Yes. Okay. That should be good for a uh, plate. More? You're just gonna let it right now, I'm playing. I'm like, he's gonna add like three more. It's the details that matter, you know? Of course. Alright, so I think that should be it. And then. I have the chicken like laid out like really pretty on top. Okay, we're pretty much the Alfredo. Go ahead and add Parmesan cheese on top. If you guys want it spicy, you could get like red crushed peppers or Tabasco and it's going to be fire, believe me. Yes. And now we do a taste test. This is my favorite part, guys. I can't even see you on the frame, babe, because you're so tall. <sighs> I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and do a taste test, even though it's burning hot. Don't burn me, babe. Because mm. I already know you're going to want to stuff that shit all up in my face. All right. Hold on. It's a little hot. Oh, so flamele. I'm used to it now. All okay. his saliva. Taste it, taste it. Hot? No, it's good. Good? Okay, go ahead. So we just did one chicken and... You gave me a big ass piece of chicken though. Oh my god, it's so bad. 
Yeah? <clears throat> it's so bad. Why? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, dude, what? Where, where did I go wrong? <laughs> I'm like, damn, I was tasting it the whole time. Are you serious or not? It tastes so good. Really? I almost choked for being a fucking liar. So I'm like... <clears throat> All right, let me try it. It is really good, guys. His face is like... <laughs> that was like probably the realest uh, like, expression. I know, he's like, like, why? It is so good. We didn't even do our thumbnail with our pretty plate. It is so good. I love it. It's fire, guys. Fire. You killed it. That was it. Happy Teamwork. camper. Happy camper with some bomb ass food. Seriously, so just figure out the whole point is figure out what your girl loves and do it. I'm easy. Check out Alfredo. I know, right? Spaghetti. Pizza. <laughs> now I'm about to bake a damn pizza so she likes it. I know. Ooh, yeah. We should. That'd be fun, huh? We Make it our own. Pizza. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Okay, guys. Yeah, so you guys already know we will have all of the ingredients listed down below in the description box. If you guys do try it, make sure you guys do tag us on Instagram as well as Twitter if you guys are trying the recipe. But I hope you guys enjoy it and hopefully Ulises will come on here and do more cooking videos because it's actually really can... good and he likes it. He just needs to try a little bit more. Yeah, it's like one of those <laughs> things. You know? Yes, but I hope you guys enjoyed it guys. So make sure you guys hit that like button if you guys did and also that subscribe button if you guys are not subscribed to my channel. Until next time, we love you guys.